Hey guys, it's me Kazuki Tunes. If you're using Flip a Clip to animate animations, I'll show you how to animate my style in Flip a Clip. Let's begin. First, we're gonna be doing is the blank guy. So, so just tr draw two ovals like an eight. Okay. Once we draw. Draw two ovals, like an eight. Yep. Okay. And draw two pupils, like ovals. Like vertical, like vertical ovals. Yeah. And 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 I want you to copy the eye. Great. Add another frame. Paste it. Okay. You can paste it multiple times if you want. Like you don't have to. Okay. Okay. I think we're in frame ten, frame eleven. Okay. I want you to drag the eye down slowly. Drag the eye slowly. Yeah, a little bit, and then drag, drag the eye again. Yup, and then draw, draw a curved line like a half semi oval, and and one more. Yup, and I want you to cop, copy, copy this frame. Down, like okay, go, go go down like one two Y numbers, and then just and just paste it, and then and then copy the I again, and there you go, and. Go up, go up a little bit, Good. and there we go. You have the blank guy. Let's test. Let's test it. See, see. Now, now that's how you animate the blank guy from my style. Okay. Next, we'll be doing is limb sync. So, all you have to do is draw a mouth like a curved line and then copy the mouth okay there you go, there you go. copy okay that's not good to good okay i want you to copy paste it when you go to cut when you go to frame three, I want you to draw the mouth like it's talking, okay? Like draw, draw, draw a straight, draw a diagonal line, then draw a curve line. Yup, and draw a diagonal line like like a teeth. Yup, and draw a curve line like a t tongue. Yep, and then I want you to fill in the mouth in the middle spot, and and the white and the white in the teeth spot, and the red one in the tongue spot. Yep, there you go. And then 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 copy the mouth again, and yep yep there you go. And st stretch the mouth a little bit. Yep, copy it again, paste it, cop and stretch the mouth again a little bit. Yep, and str yep, and then you have to stretch stretch it down, down a little bit, and and you want, okay, then then stretch it down.
Okay. 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 Just erase the tongue and make it an L tongue. Okay. okay. All right. We got. We got. That. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. I want you to delete. Delete the mouth and draw a diagonal mouth again and draw a curved line and and draw the tongue like it's going up yep and draw a diagonal so side and draw another and then of course just fill in the tongue fill in the fill in the red in the tongue spot and and fill in the black in the mouth stop spot one and two yep there you go and and fill in the white in the teeth spot yep and, and then for the o you have to draw a mouth and draw a circle and then fill it in that's not it Yep, fill in the black. Okay, you, all you have to do is copy, paste it, and okay, you just dr drag it to the left. Right, and drag it back. And draw a curved mouth again. And draw a diagonal line and draw a curved line and and draw uh, the the the, the uh, then draw the tongue like a the horizontal oval and then draw a diagonal line there you go and then Fill, fill in with a white. One, two, and then fill in the red with the tongue spot. And then, and then, and then that's the th mouth. For the end mouth, just when the mouth goes, mmm, then draw a curve line. Yup. And for the E mouth, for the E mouth, you have to draw a diagonal line and draw a curve line. Then add two diagonal lines and, and fill in the white within the teeth spots and fill in the black in the mouth spot. Yep. And then, and then cop, copy the mouth, paste it, and stretch it a little bit, and, and stretch it vertically. Okay. Alright, that's the E mouth. Okay. Then draw. Okay, draw the diagonal line. Yep. And then fill in the whites. Now I'm gonna fast forward. For the mouth that goes what you have to do is draw a diagonal line and fill the whites in the teeth spots. Yup. And then 
and then and two more routes to go. Alright, just a little bit more. Okay, we're getting it somewhere. Right, for the F mouth, you had to tr draw a curve, draw to draw a diagonal line, then draw the curved mouth a little bit, draw two curved mouths horizontally, and draw it vertically, and then fill in the mouth. Like you could do some frowning mouths this time, but it's this. But you can I'll show you how to do the crown mouths. So basically what you have to do is just draw the upside down mouth. Like draw a draw a straight straight line and draw a curve under the straight line. And draw a straight straight line again and draw a curved tongue. A curved line, like a tongue. See? And then fill in, fill in the blacks. And it's fill in the teeth in the teeth spot and fill in the red in the tongue spot. And 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 this is this is the upside down frown mouth. This is the upside down smile mouth. Like it's a frown mouth is like an upside down mouth, so so I will show you some arts of the frown mouth. Next, next, next one will be animating the arms. So draw a straight line, and draw an oval almost to the quarter, and then draw another oval and con that connects to the to the almost finished oval, and fill in the whites in the in the hand spot. See, okay, for the wave arms, you had to had to copy it and paste it. Yep. And for the wave arms, you had to draw an almost oval and the and the finger that connects to the arm and then fill it in again. And then then, then, then draw it like, draw it in the past frame, and, and then do the same frame again. Back to the same frame and and okay and and for the rotating arms you have to draw a curved line and draw the hand, yep, and then, and then fill it in the color, and then color, and then copy, and paste it, rotate it, and rotate it, and, and click, alright, alright, just a bit of more frames, and that's it, yep.
right? And yep, yep. And that's how you do. That's how you do the asking arm. Yep, for the point arm, you had to. You had to draw for the point arm. You had to draw the semi semi all like a round rectangle, and then draw a curved line like the thumb, and draw the oval, and fill in any color. For the side off for the side point finger, you, you had to draw a semi half round rectangle and then draw an oval. Yep, and there you go. For the fist, draw a curved line, then a, then a little bit of horizontal line and draw a vertical line and draw a curved line and make it into an oval. And fill it in and, and rotate and rotate. And rotate. You should not supposed to rotate, so that's how you draw a fist. There, yep, there's a lot of variations like the sideways. Right, just do the same thing. Right, you know the the point that goes sideways, and then. And then do the same thing as this one right here, and combine it into a fist, and that's and that's all. And okay, and hmm, and also you and never mind. I'm trying to think. Okay, for the point front. Like the hands pointing front, draw a circle, and then draw a big circle that is corner to the corner to the circle. And draw a thumb and draw a curve line, and then fill it in. That's how you do the point front point finger. All right, now for now for the walk cycle. So all you do is draw a curve line and draw the shoe like like the like the front foot is touching the ground, the heel is touching the air. And okay, and draw a curve line again and draw the oval again. Now it's the basic step of walk cycles. Like th now that's the contact frame. Now for the recall. Draw, draw a straight line and draw a diagonal line and and draw it over like it's like it's going up in the air a little bit and then draw a diagonal line left and right yep and draw the oval again and and that's it and that's the recall frame now for the passing frame now draw a a little bit of a curved line and draw the oval again and draw a diagonal line and left and right and, and yep that's the passing and, and that's the passing point and now for the high point you have to draw the 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 diagonal line and and, and Draw a foot that is that that the that the toes are touching the ground and the heels t touching the air. And draw a diagonal line left and right and draw the oval and fill in. Well, that's all. Now, now that's that's repeating. Now that's re now that's repeating the walk cycles, like like the right leg and the left leg. Alright, let's see the test of the white cycles. 
Hmm. I think the walk-off cycle is going fast. Let me take it in slow-mo. Okay, now for my style, now for my style art, all I had to do is draw a circle like, like the head, okay? And draw a rectangle like the body. Okay, Great. okay, and I just wanted to do is draw two ovals like eyes. And, and one, and, and two. Okay, draw the pupils like the horizontal ovals. Yep, you got it. And draw a curve on the eyebrow. Just draw a curve like the eyebrow, like the curve line, and draw a mouth. Dr draw the mouth and make it into a bean and add three lines or I mean two lines and then you will add legs what draw a lot draw a vertical line and add an oval a horizontal oval and repeat it repeat it to the right now for the arms all you have to do is draw a diagonal line and, and draw a glove like mittens. And one and a two. And repeat and repeat it after me. And that is it. Now that's how you draw. And, and that's how you draw my style of my Kazuki Tune style. And that's how you animate in the Kazuki Tune style. And I'll show you my style character designs. Yep, that is all. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!